Hello there, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is RE Lawan Engineering and today we are going to continue our discussion on reinforced concrete design. And our topic is the cracking moment. So, wag na nating patagalin and let us start. So, before we begin, let us just recall some of our previous discussion. So, sa cracking moment, ito yung basihan na kung saan malalaman natin na hindi pa nagkakaroon ng crack yung beam natin kapag yung ating moment na actual ay less than dun sa makukumpute natin na cracking moment. Ngayon, kapag lumagpas dyan, ibig sabihin yung beam natin crack na. The question is, paano natin malalaman yung cracking moment Okay, ngayon, babalikan natin yung flexure or bending stress formula natin from our strength of materials. And that is given by F, which is our bending stress, equal to MY over IG. Okay, our M is the bending moment equal or less than the cracking moment. Yung Y natin, distance from the neutral axis. IG is the gross moment inertia. Thus, konting algebra, makukuha natin yung formula natin ng cracking moment. So, yung cracking cracking moment natin will be equal to our modulus of rupture fr times ig over y sub t okay so aning fr natin again from our nscp 2015 yung fr natin ngayon ay 0.62 lambda times the square root of f prime c so lambda depende yan kung normal weight or lightweight concrete and yung y sub t natin that is the distance from the centroidal axis to the extreme fibers in tension okay sa tension side that is why y sub t siya okay so let's jump in and try some examples Okay, example number one. Determine the cracking moment for the section shown if F prime C is 28 megapascals and the modulus of rupture is given by 0.62 lambda square root of F prime C with F prime C in megapascal. Okay, so tingnan natin yung beam natin. Okay, sabi niya, uh, we will use 3 na 20 mm diameter bars. Our B is 350. Our height is 600 mm. Our D is equal to 520. And our effective cover is 80 mm. So ngayon, ang hahanapin natin is cracking moment. So ilista muna natin yung mga kailangan natin. We need F prime C. Our B, which is 350. Our height, which is 600. Lambda natin is 1.0. So kapag hindi sinabi sa problem kung ano yung gagamitin, you assume that it is a normal weight concrete. And our Y sub T is uh, 300. So the centroidal axis, syempre sa gitna yan, hanggang dun sa extreme fiber natin, Y sub T. And that is 600 over 2 or 300 mm. Okay, so from our flexure formula na F is equal to MY over IG, hanapin natin yung mga kailangan natin. Okay, una, kailangan natin hanapin yung ating moment of inertia. Uh, since this is a rectangular uh, section, we will use BH cube over 12 and that will give us this uh, result. Tapos yung FR natin, which is our modulus of rupture, uh, substitute lang natin yung F prime C and we will get 3.281. Megapascal. And with some um, cross multiplication na ginawa natin kanina, our cracking moment is FRIG over Y sub T. Okay, times 10 raised to negative 6 para maging kilonewton meter. So substitute lang natin lahat. We have MCR equal to our uh, F sub R which is 3.281. And then our IG, ang haba. So sulat ko na lang dyan, IG all over Y sub T which is 300. And that will give us 68.895 kilonewton meter. Okay, so this is in uh, 10 raised to negative 6. Okay, so ganun lang siya. Ganun lang isolve yung ating cracking moment. Example number 2. 
We need to compute the bending stresses in the extreme fibers of the beam for a bending moment of 37 kN. The normal weight concrete has an F'C of 28 megapascals. Then we will determine the cracking moment of the section. Ito yung section natin. Our B is 300. Okay, this is our B. Our H is 500. This is our D and this is our effective cover. So let us solve first our F sub R. Okay, our F'C prime C is 28 and that will give us 3.281 megapascal. Okay, we will solve our IG. So again, our B is 300 mm. Okay, and then our H is 500 mm. Okay, that will give us this result right here. And then we are going to find the uh, bending stress of the beam due to the moment. Okay, kasi binigyan tayo ng moment kanina na 37 kilonewton meter. So ngayon, with that moment, malalaman natin yung actual na uh, bending stress ng ating uh, section. So that is this one, our F here, our bending stress, our M is 37, and then our Y sub T is 250 mm, and then yung IG natin, yung nasolve natin dito kanina, and that will give us 2.96 megapascal. Kanina, pinag-usapan natin no, na yung cracking moment, tinitingnan natin siya as parang limiting natin para malaman kung nag-crack or hindi yung ating beam. May isang way para malaman yun. We have to take note that our F, bending stress natin, should be less than the uh, modulus of rupture FR natin. In that case, kapag F is less than FR, the section is not cracked. Okay, ibig sabihin hindi pa siya nagka-crack. And one more way para malaman yan is that we look our M, that is 37, and then we compute our MCR. So, i-compare iko natin yung dalawang yan. So, dito sa baba, i-compute natin yung ating MCR. Okay, uh, substitute natin yung F sub R natin or yung modulus of rupture, our IG, and then Y sub T. And that will give us 41.009 kilonewton meter. So, if we are going to compare that, our uh, actual moment in the beam is 37 kilonewton meter and that is less than our cracking moment which is 41.009 kilonewton meter. So therefore, the section is not cracked. Hindi pa niya naabot yung cracking moment niya. The bending stress is less than the uh, modulus of rupture. So we are still good. Yung beam natin ay still in the uncracked section. So that's our video for today. If meron kang natutunan, just Leave a like and leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and share our videos for more.